Hey there everyone, Hatesh here from LearnCodeOnline.in. If you haven't visited LearnCodeOnline, I have plethora of courses there. So let's get started and talk a little bit more about JavaScript. So we have seen in the past that we have learned a lot of stuff about it, like query selector, changing the things, but one thing is still remaining. We have also learned how we can remove them, we have learned we can edit them, but so far we haven't learned how we can create them. Now, as I've mentioned probably hundreds of times in my other YouTube videos is that there is no book, no course, or no video series which can talk all about a one particular subject. Like for JavaScript, no matter how hard I try, I cannot cover all of them. It's almost impossible. And that is why we learn things on the go. In this particular video series, our one of the many goal is uh, to create a simple to-do application. It can be done by various means we are reaching towards that goal by learning about them. I'm saying all of this because creating an element is really a, a little bit subject which can be done with a variety of ways. I'm showing you just one of them, okay? So let's learn how we can create elements in this JavaScript. Now, in order to create elements, we need to first understand the structure of our HTML. The structure really pays, plays a really good role here. So notice we have learned that everything is arranged in a document object model. Document, your file, its object, head tag, body tag, p tag, and they are some of them are the, the direct children's of the body tag, some of them are not. And this is how your DOM is structured. If you want to add an element, how do we add it? Let's just analyze that when we directly write the code in an HTML element. For example, I want to add a p tag here. So the first thing which I did, my brain did, I don't even realize that, is I looked up for the body element. I didn't want it to start writing here. Automatically I clicked in here because I wanted to add in here. So the step number one is to find the place where you actually want to write. I have in my mind selected automatically that I want to write inside the body tag. And then I moved into this paragraph. That means I want to end, I want to add my element at the end of whatever the elements are there already inside this body tag. Then first and foremost, I add a p tag, that's it. And just by adding a p tag, it doesn't really make sense. I can save it probably hundreds of time. Still, you know already that nothing is gonna be showing up on the screen. So there is no sense of just adding a p tag. Obviously, I need to add some text inside it, something like uh, this was uh, added via HTML, something like this. And when I save this, I go back here and I hit a reload and uh, obviously it is being changed again to this. Uh, but if I just comment this for a moment, come on, we are learning something, allow us to learn. And if I just go back here, notice this was added via HTML. So this is the process that we follow when we manually add things. And this is the exact same process we follow when we want to add something using our JavaScript. Okay, so uh, I'm gonna uncomment this to show you some of the stuff as well. So how we can add that. The first and foremost thing is to select something where you want to add your tags. So how we can do that. First of all, let's just call this as const and my new para, something like that create, call it anything, whatever you like. And then what we're gonna call it is a document and there are many options how you want to create that. One of them is a create element. And if I can find that, there we go, create element. And inside that you can pass on whatever the element you want to create. In this, my particular example, it makes much more sense that if I add just a p tag, but feel free to add like uh, things like h1 tags, h2 tag, whatever you want to create, okay. So this is the first step that we have learned uh, that my new para is a variable which is going to be responsible for creating that but it hasn't created anything yet because I haven't mentioned where I want to create or what I want to write inside it, okay? So these are the two questions I still need to answer. So what I can do is I can say my new para and I can say dot text content what I want to add into it and I'm gonna say uh, I was added via JS, okay. So what I have done so far is I have written something like this. Uh, in the HTML, I have written this uh, p tag and I have done something like this. Come on, write a p there. And inside this p tag, I have written this. Copy that and paste that. Okay, so this is what I have written in so far in the JS. Now I have selected that and cut that on my clipboard. Notice it is being cut. It is there somewhere, 
but it is not there in my HTML. If I go back and save this file, nothing going to happen because it is still on my clipboard. It is being created in the memory. It is not there on my HTML. In order to put that in HTML, I have to select where I want to put it, probably at the end of the body, click there and add it there, okay? So that's the next step. So how we can do that, once we have done all these steps, this two, one, now the only thing that is remaining is select an element where you want to add it and just add it. So what you can see is document dot, and always I use the query selectors. It makes much more sense for me. And in the query selector, where you want to add it? In this case, notice I'm gonna add it to body. Okay, so I have selected my element. The only thing that is remained is where you want to add it. And one of them is append child. Append child simply means append anything on existing. Simply in HTML, we have already this content. I want to append my things at the end of it and that's it. And what you want to append is dependent on what you want to put. In this case, I want to put this my new para. Okay, so my new para. And that's it. You have learned how to create an element. Just exactly how we do that in regular stuff. Now notice one more thing in here. I have uncommented this line from line number 10 to 12. And this is changing all of my paragraphs into I am changed using loop. So can you answer me a simple question uh, just by pausing the video right here that whether uh, this appended element, which says I was added via JavaScript will also be converted into this line or not? Say yes or no in the comment section below. Okay, so I hope many of you did try to pause the video there and try to comment it there. Answer is no, it will not be uh, changed into it. The simple reason is, as I mentioned previously as well, everything in JavaScript and HTML runs from top to bottom. So first, it just saw all the elements and changed that to into, uh, I am changed using loop. And then it saw this code, which is adding new elements. So that's why our last element will not be converted. So if I go back here, notice everything is changed using this loop, but the last one, which says I was added by JS is not gonna be converted. In case your goal is to convert that as well, what you can do is you can just cut that and you can paste that at the bottom. Obviously, you know the answer. Now everything will be converted into that if your goal is like that, okay? I'm gonna move it back onto the top because this makes much sense in case this here, okay? Now coming back onto the point that how we can add this append child and all of that, there are probably many other ways to add elements into your object, on, onto your document in the HTML. This is the one that we have learned and this is the one which will make much more sense for our project that we really want to do. So now you have understood that how you can uh, add an element, you can remove an element, you can edit the element. I think almost all the CRUD functionality is almost uh, done with that. Now that is all done. And this is the only thing that I wanted to talk about manipulating the DOM. Surely there are a few other things that I want to discuss. And after that, we can surely do a simple, small project to brush up our skills and to do whatever we have learned so far. So that's it for this video. And I'm gonna surely, surely catch you up in the next video. Hey, did you forget to subscribe that? hit subscribe on my channel. Come on, that encourages me. And uh, that's it.